Welcome friends, it's Kaylee Bird, and today we are gonna work on writing your artist elevator pitch, and if you don't know what that is, or you don't have one prepared, then you are definitely gonna wanna stick around, because one of these days, you're gonna meet someone who's important and essential for your career, and you might wanna sound intelligent when you do so, so make sure you pop that subscribe button and ding the bell, because I always got your best art biz advice and little artsy bird technique. Thanks guys, enjoy. Okay folks, it's time to write your elevator pitch and I'm going to show you it in three steps. First, how horribly, painfully, awfully, badly I sounded <laughs> talking about my art up until very recently. Then I'm gonna show you how much better I got in only three days of practice. Wow, huge difference. And then I'm going to show you the easy step-by-steps how you can improve the way you discuss your art too. Because you wanna make sure that you sound confident, capable, and collected anytime you get the opportunity to tell somebody about your art. Yeah, that's pretty important. Okay, so real quick, just in case you don't know what the term elevator pitch means, it basically harkens back to the days of the beginning of the big corporate skyscrapers and everybody's like moving into the corporate world. And the thought was that if you're like some kind of little underling, you know, a newbie, nobody at the company, and you happen to find yourself on the elevator with one of the big corporate CEO mega execs, what could you say in that minute, minute and a half that it takes you to reach the top or the bottom in order to really impress that CEO and make him want to give you, you know, more opportunities or raise you in the company or just know who you are. So the idea is that what can you possibly say in about a minute, minute and a half to someone who could really advance and further your career that would impress them enough to make them want to help you. And you got to say it quick and it's got to be good. I actually got invited to take part in a collaborative YouTube artist interview just a few months ago. Um, and when asked what is my name and what kind of artwork I create, this is what I said. I am Kaylee Bird. I am a fellow YouTube artist. I'm also uh, an art teacher. I'm an art mentor. I do like one-on-one -on -one art mentoring consultation. Um, I'm a figure model at art classes. Uh, I paint and draw mostly figurative work. Um, I do these, what they're called, I call them my 3D oil paintings. So at this point, I'm not only painting figures um, with oil, but then I build shadow box frames around them and fill them with clear acrylic resin and do all kinds of like, like three-dimensional layers in the paintings. I'll add found objects like uh, dead insects or bugs or mummified lizards or, you know, bees or wasps, that kind of thing. I'll do like uh, seashells, crystals, all kinds of crazy stuff. So, um, oh, plants, duh, like so many dried plants and stuff. I love, I'm obsessed with ferns. So um, I do all of the artsy things, is basically what I do. Um, uh, as I said, I'm a YouTuber, so I can't really tell for sure, but um, yeah. I also do uh, my art mentoring, so I work with clients like one-on-one -on -one through webcams to either um, help them with like, the artistic technique or be as a like, business part of the art business, which I think is so frustrating. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I just had to stop it. Oh my God, that was so painful and embarrassing. Can we please trick that from our minds? But you can see how awkward I was, especially, I used to have an easier time when I was just doing regular oil paintings, but now that I'm doing like my 3D paintings, I obviously had a really hard time discussing what my art was about and why it was important. So I think if I have a hard time doing that, then you guys probably do too. So let's make sure that we never do anything like that in public or God, in person to someone's face again. Oh, that was painful. Sorry I did that to your video, Danae. Make sure you check out some of her other videos because they're much better than that. Okay, now that that is over and done with for the rest of our lives, thank goodness, take a look at my improved elevator speech that I mastered in just three days of practice. Hi, I'm Kaylee Bird. It's so awesome to get a chance to meet you. I'm an artist, teacher, and art mentor. I create um, three-dimensional mixed media figure paintings. Basically, I use like clear acrylic resin and weird things like dried bugs and dead lizards and dried plants and stuff like that all ensconced within the paintings and to create these like kind of intense sort of eerie kind of shadow box frame worlds. They're really fun. But my most favorite part, the part I'm most proud of are actually my models because I have a ton of friends from here on the mainland and back when I used to live in Hawaii that all model for me. They all have like a wide variety of ethnicities and body types and everything. Like it's really special because my work really is mostly about sort of appreciating the underappreciated and uh, finding beauty in the everyday. So, um, you know, I'm really, I'm fortunate for the, the people that I've had to work with me. But I really wanted to ask you while I've got your attention, oh my gosh, I love this space. This is awesome. I've been here for like the last four openings. I cannot believe how how excited your crowd is here. Um, while I have your attention, I wanted to ask you, is there a certain submission process to show you or your associates um, new artists work? Yeah. Oh, okay, great. That's awesome. Well, fabulous. Well, here's my business card. 
Thank you. Is there a good way for me to get in touch with you? <laughs> perfect, perfect. I will do that. You'll be hearing from me so soon. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Okay, now I did just want to add one thing. Obviously, the elevator pitch is sort of like a little bit of a speech you got going on, but if at any point you're giving your pitch and the person like looks like they want to talk or wants to interrupt or wants to interject or wants to ask further questions, then by all means, shut your mouth. The optimal goal is to talk to this person as long as possible, not to make your interaction super short. You want your pitch to be short, of course, but I mean, ideally, if this person who's really important and can really help you out wants to sit here and talk to you and find out more about your progress or process or see you know, your photos, that's great. So slow down, shut up, answer their questions, like don't just be like, hang on, I gotta get through this. By all means, if, if they start chatting, shut your mouth and, and start chatting with them exactly what they ask you, okay? That's gonna get you farther. <laughs> so much better, right? Oh my gosh, I was like, not really that painful. <laughs> what do you know? Okay, so I got my notebook. You know I'm serious, because I got the notebook right here. These are basically the steps that you need to take. Number one, first you need to state your name hi hi what's your name and your main medium okay let me just preface this by saying we're gonna go over how to do your elevator speech as an artist talking to like um you know gallery exhibitor art space maybe um artist in residence program something about that something where you're trying to sell you and your artwork um if i was to give my elevator speech to someone that i was trying to get like a teaching job with you know someone like at a a college or like a museum or something where I'm trying to get a teaching gig, I would have a different one for that because I'll be highlighting different things. So let me just start by you need to have your elevator speech prepared for the situation that you are expecting to be in. So you may need to have two or three. I personally am working on two right now. So first of all, you want to have your name. Hello, what's your name? And then your main medium, like what, not every single thing because a lot of artists do a lot of things, but like what is your main thing that you really want to get known for that is your proudest thing, right? Number two is your mission and how you perform it. So sort of like what is your work trying to portray and how are you trying to portray it? But quickly, concisely, right? That's kind of a big one, but you need to figure out how to say that in a short amount of time. And then that should lead into number three, why they should care, because that's kind of important because if you're trying to stand apart from the crowd, you need to have a reason why people should care about your art. So you need to have a little something about why they should care in that. Now you've kind of introduced yourself, you've given them this spiel. You need to have some sort of lead in or question or specific engagement to that person or situation. So you need to be saying like, as I did, like, oh, I'm so glad to be in your space. I've been here before, you know? You need to, a really good thing that you want to think about is a question, a way that you can engage them that you're going to garner a positive response or at least a question that does not allow for a no response usually. So not asking like, can I show my artwork? Cause that's yes or no, like, no, I'm busy right now or no, I'm not the one to do it. But like, how is the best way to show you guys my artwork, you know, because Usually galleries will at some point be looking at other artwork now. Maybe they might say, oh, we're really full and we only do it once a year, but they might say like, oh, we go to this specific art fair every year and we check out who the new people are. Or they might say, this is how we want you to submit your portfolio. Or if you're really lucky, they might say, well, guess what? I got time for tea next week. Let's have a look at your portfolio together. Ooh la la, right? Mm. And then they'll order the lemon ginger and they'll say yes. But anyways, so just realize that you want to make sure that your spiel is specific to the person or situation. And then number five is after they respond, you answer them back, whatever is appropriate and figure out a contact plan. Now, I always like to boom, have my business card ready and then hopefully they're gonna give me theirs or say, oh, here's my secretary right here, talk to her, make an appointment, whatever. But you need to immediately have your business card ready and then have that contact plan ready to go and it's up to you to contact them. Do not say, can I please show in your gallery? Here's my business card, you'll get back to me, right? Uh-uh, no, you want to get back to them as quickly as possible without looking like a psychopath. Don't step away and email them five minutes later, but that night or maybe like the very next morning, hey, so-and-so, it was so great to meet you. I really appreciated the show, da-da-da-da. I can't wait to, you know, 
submit my portfolio or meet you in the future or come to the next art show or whatever it is that you want to say, but you want to make that first contact and you want to do it quickly because if you wait like a week, they're going to be like, I don't know. I met so many people that aren't show who knows, but if you can do it like immediately and say, I met you last night. We chatted about such and such. It was so fantastic meeting you. I can't wait to do it again in the future. Short, sweet to the point, just something that will jog their memory and make them remember your wonderful self. Now let's chat tips and strategy real quick. First of all, you want to be concise. You want to be maybe 45 seconds max up until, and that includes you discussing yourself and like your lead in question. Okay. Do not sit there for two minutes like I did and sit there and ramble on and on and on because ain't nobody got time for that for real. Okay. So about 45 seconds max, including the question lead in, and then you can take it for there. Uh, you want it to be, well, I know you keep using this word, concise, but exciting. You know, make sure you throw in a couple of memorable adjectives, some kind of weird, quirky thing, some kind of super inspiring thing, something that will make you stand out, some kind of spark of interest that will be planted within them. So think about that, a couple of good adjectives, but you want to make sure that you are sounding like you're speaking normally. You do not want to sound like you are reciting your artist statement or bio. You want to sound conversational, conversational, but you want to make sure that your vocabulary is good and exciting and correct and you sound intelligent, <laughs> right? It's kind of like your artist statement and bio all combined into like the most interesting points in a quick conversation. Pretty much that's what you're going for. Remember, this is a pitch not a monologue. Make sure that you practice, practice, practice. Now you're going to want to write it down on a little piece of paper. I got mine right here, but then you are going to work practice, 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 read it aloud, practice in front of the mirror so many times that it just sounds like it came off the top of your head. You want to practice till it sounds like you've never had to practice it before and make sure you always got that business card popping and ready to go as well as being able to show them pictures of your art right off the bat. Because when you're saying, when's a good time? What if they say, well, you got anything on you? You do not want to be pulling out your phone and flipping through it. And they see all the like workout selfies you got and stuff. No, 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 no. You need to be able to whip out your phone and have a folder ready. Boom. Within four seconds, you've got your artwork up. You're ready to scroll and no dog photos, food photos, or embarrassing workout photos to be scrolling through. I also happen to have a piece of my artwork right on the back of my business card, just in case I want to be so fast. Be like, Hey, here's how you can contact me. There's some of my artwork. It's fantastic. This really opens up a lot of doors because they're not even asking for my artwork and I'm not even being pushy. I'm like, here's my business card. Check out my artwork. I've been so. designing my own business cards for years. I've done multiple designs. Do you guys want to know how I do it? Drop it down in the comments. If you want a tutorial on how to create your own smashingly good business cards. Okay. Get real close. So I want you to remember the most important part of this whole pitch, this whole elevator pitch, this whole discussion, you need to tell someone who you are and why they should care. Okay. That is it. If you get nothing else out, if you cannot get out the words to describe your art, how it looks adequately, if you can't get out the words to describe your history as an artist or even get out the words very well to ask them a very good question. The most important thing is you need to have somebody interested in your artwork. So you need to tell them who you are and why they should care, why they should care. Cause ain't nobody going to care unless you tell them why. All right, friends, I hope you learned so much and make sure you actually get your elevator pitch down and practice it because one day the world is going to open back up again, believe it or not. And you are going to be at an art show, exhibition, fair, whatever, meeting somebody who's important. And you're going to want to sound like you know what you're talking about. So trust me, you ain't going nowhere for a little while. Sit at your house and practice your elevator pitch. Mwah. I love you guys. Thank you so much. I'll see you next week. Mmm, lemon ginger.